have a mix of found items. We bought a huge lot of new old stock. Are you going to fix it so your head's in? Yeah. Um, of collectibles. And so over the next few weeks on the Stay at Home Shopping Network, on our thrift halls, we're going to slowly be working our ways. We'll tell you more about that haul here in a little bit. We're super excited. Um, but we do have some one of a kind, um, well, not one of a kind, but we only have one of them items up for sales. So we're super excited about that. Lots of new bags, joggers, and we have to leave like five minutes early because the boys have pictures for wrestling. So we're going to get that done. If you're new here, we're going to shop at jrvhome.com today. Um, and Caitlin is on here. Mariah is dropping links. So if you're watching the replay, click the live chat. And if you like these kinds of videos, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Woo Let's get started. All right. Let's show the stuff. First of all, I want to move this horse before something <laughs> happens. It has a nice styrofoam box it goes in for safekeeping, but it's it's older. What, most of this stuff is from the 80s and 90s. Yes, um, some from the 70s. So this is RB Tate um, on this one. This is a vintage bisque in excellent condition. It was made in West Germany, so before the wall came down. Um, it's Kaiser porcelain, um, and it's 2198 of 4,000 pieces that were made. It's got the original stickers on the bottom for the certificate of authenticity situation. Um, horses are always really good and what I'm going to try to do with all these collectibles because I literally have tubs and tubs of stuff to process It also is comes a, with a stand. It also comes with the original stand um, Is I'm going to try to figure out what like the full retail price is and then I'm going to mark it at like half of that um, It's kind of hard to tell because they're all over the place This one retails for between three hundred and four hundred dollars is what I saw and I'm selling it for $149.95 woo So super excited on this one. It does come in the original box with the foam um, but the box is not in perfect condition but the foam is nice because it'll make it great for shipping and for um, storing once you're you can't find that this higher. is brand new the box has been in storage a while. okay it's called uh, Kaiser quarter horse it is active and it is in the vintage found collection so let me know if you find that Mariah I'm gonna copy and paste that here in the links if you just look up horse or quarter horse it should bring it up Look up, well, search old to new in the antique. I'm going to carefully challenge. go put this back in its styrofoam, Oops. and I'll be back in just a moment to probably show you some gnomes. Oh, she found it. All right, so super excited um, for the gnomes, because I know gnomes are really popular right now. Now, here's the thing on the gnomes. Um, they're new old stock. Some of them are older than others, and I have more than I have listed, so if you want more, just keep watching the website. I'm going to keep listing them throughout the day. Um, and if you order twice in one day, just email info at jamierayvintagehome.com and we will combine your shipping. Oh, you have to put quarter horse as one word. Um, I think that's because that's how it was on the box. I tried to like keep it however it was on the box. All right. Um, let's see. Ivy says she loves the gnomes and Deb says that she always wants one in her front yard. Leslie says not so much on the nose. You know what? It's about to be spring and garden season. And even if you don't have like a big garden, these guys are perfect. They're resin. I think they're more intended for inside. They have felt on the bottom, but I'm, I'm big into putting gnomes outside um, in the garden. They're super, super cute. I'm going to pull up the listing because they're all different prices. So this one is sheer delight. So this one actually says 181.50 it was retired, but I think they're all retired because I don't think they're still making them, but yeah. we're selling this one for $19.95 and it's two gnomes and one gnome is giving the other one a haircut. The detail on these are absolutely amazing. The store that they came from was called McKay's um, and I believe that was in Wyoming. Um, my friend's grandfather owned the store and so they're clearing out their basement and the family was like, I will just sell a whole lot to you and then you can process them. So we got boxes for days. We're so excited. So this, this one's, one's my fun. This one's my favorite. It's called the Taxi Mom. <laughs> She's got like all the sports stuff all around. <laughs> and this, some of them, so these, we actually have four of these ones, which I'm super excited. It has the Boy Scouts logo, the volleyball, um, the football. It's just, they're very well detailed. There's even like little mushrooms in there and just so so cute um that one is 26.95 so it's the most expensive of the lot because it's the largest the most detailed um one and there's four of those okay i'm just gonna see if there's questions someone here let's take a break so kai said she saw pearls yeah jane these are not for outside oh we're taking a break for pearls 
We are. Well, then I have to log out and log back in. Hold on. What? Why? Pearl bracelets. So these come in bisque and white, and they match really well with my earrings. They are not expensive, guys. Nine ninety five, um, and I think they come with multiple. But how many bracelets are there in each? It looks like there's four in each. Let me let me four. open these. There's four. No, I'm not gonna break the bank. So you get four bracelets for nine ninety five. But they look super cute on and they look well they don't look great with my scratch from cleaning out the dryer vent today <laughs> but if you want to be bougie on a budget 9.95 free shipping on these no one's ever gonna know they look they look real <laughs> well i'm gonna know because jamie ain't buying no real pearls unless they i found them at a yard sale then all right all right let me see if i can, now i can't get this back in there okay we'll go i'm, to the I'm gonna mix it back up so and we're gonna go back the to the bone gnome. color and then here oops. <laughs> Here's the white. So they're really close, but. Or friendship bracelets for four people. There you I go. I like it. Sally's coming up with extra ideas here. Okay, back to the gnomes and All right, camp. this is the court jester. 5378, uh, 1981, I believe is what that's And I'm gonna for. sell for 1995. Why are we at home today? We alternate between the shop and the house. Yep. Because we don't reset the shop every week. I know, you guys are shocked. <laughs> but it just gives us a break from that. Um, so this is Giovanni. This one's cool. He's got like seashells on it, and there's like a quarter. Um, and this was retired. At one point, they wanted $126 for it. Jamie ain't doing that one. $19.95 for this one. Oh, Jane has her mother's real pearls. Nice. I love it. Look how cute these gnomes are. All right. Okay. This one is perfect for Mother's Day. I, I kind of envision this, I'm guessing she's like a widow. She's sitting on her log that her and her gnome husband sat on and it says thinking of you on the log. Her gnome husband. $12.95 and we have four of them. And I just, I actually recently, my friend lost, my friend Vicky lost her husband Mark to a six year battle of cancer. So I actually am, I might reserve one and send those to her because I think she would really like it. It's really sweet. So I love that one. And then... Let's see, which other one did you already show? I haven't shown this one, and with St. Patrick's Day coming, I like it. So this is a leprechaun and kind of a gnome. He's got acorns and mushrooms all over his gold coins, and this one is Monaghan. And look how cute this is. And you guys could totally paint these if you wanted to. I'm not going to be painted, though. I'm not going to be painting them because these are collectible. So Monaghan, these are made in North Carolina. So that's kind of fun. Um, you can do what you want with them. Nineteen ninety-five for this one. So yeah. this one was retired. It was once oh, one twenty-six. That oh, that's the one you showed. I'm yeah, like, yeah. So this is the last one. I'm like retired. Didn't you already say one was retired? There you go. I gotta pay more attention. So this, if you know somebody who works at the airport, this is a paddle man, and I'm guessing these leaves are how he he guides them in because you recognize like the orange vest. Um, these do look a lot like Boyd's Bears. They're very much reminiscent of that one. And this is the Paddle Man, and he's also $12.95, and we only have one of him. Okay. And they're resin, but very, very, very detailed, and again, very reminiscent of Boyd's Bears. And they're collectible, so, but the price point is good, so if you don't like the colors, you want to paint them, I don't care. Yeah, throw some apothecary on these guys. You that's, do whatever That's what you we do, do when we find stuff like this, and it's got chips in the thrift store. So the next one I want to show is Lowell Davis. I found that he actually recently passed away. He is an American artist. Um, this one, and these are all new in the box. This one is called Honeymoon's Over. It's Schmidt Border Fine Arts, handmade in Scotland, but he is not from Scotland. So where does the box say he's from? I don't and know. This was 1991, and it says Lowell Davis, but you can kind of tell. He's from Southwest Jack, Missouri. You can kind of, oh, from, he's from Missouri. You can tell that he wrote over his name with ink, because that's what it looks like to me. Mm. You can, I can't confirm or deny, because I don't know. And this is 1412 out of 1950 of them, and it comes original, new in box, has the foam, so Christy will be super excited to ship that. Even has like all the paperwork in it. And this one's my favorite because it's got the cute, it's a farmhouse, which the subject matter is good. And this one is $59.95, originally retailed for $300, and I saw them anywhere from $80 to like $250. So um, anyways, thought this one was good. BFA Scotland. So it's cheap. handwritten. This is number 1412 on here. Yeah. Isn't that cute? And I mean, I guess you could paint this, but this is actually something I wouldn't paint. And it comes with the original, like, 
coaster situation. So that one's fun. All right, let me, I'm gonna put that one back in the box. You. Yep. All right. That one is going back in. Next we have some Waterford crystal and then we'll go back to the normal fair. We'll show you some joggers. We got new joggers in and we got some new bags and some new headbands from Sporting. So we get over there. I'm gonna pull up comments. If you guys remember from last week, we had the, uh, oh, Les said that she received her pan today. She's sitting in the fireplace. It's, it's sitting in the fireplace with dried lavender. Nice. I'm glad you got that, Les. Um, we had that Waterford cake plate. And so initially I bought the collectibles and she said, I have this box of crystal, so I bought that. And I actually wanted buying a box of pewter, which I haven't listed any of that, but I do have a few of the crystal pieces. They are Waterford. Um, this one is vintage. And I looked it up. This is a five bucket champagne. I was like, Boz, but no, it is not. <laughs> it is a five bucket champagne situation. Now I'm just wondering like, you put five champagnes in here, five glasses. I don't know. I don't know, is that what it's spoke for when you looked it up? Yeah, so this is Waterford Crystal made in Germany. And this is um, five toast champagne bucket. Uh, it is a lot bigger than it is on the website. It is Mama Jamma. Um, it is, yeah, you can see it here. Holding Jessica it. says the cake plate is huge and gorgeous. Did it arrive alive, I'm guessing? That's awesome. The nice thing about this is that we don't have the full box, but we have most of the full box, so we have all the foam. Christy's going to be super excited about that because she and Jean... Did you show them close? Oh, this is heavy, so this, gonna, this one's gorgeous. I'm going to guess you didn't show them close. So this is the angel wheat pattern, I believe. Um, it's got weed on it. It's got, I thought it was a bow, but apparently an angel and it looked like a heart to me. I don't know. And X's, but it's thick glass. The bottom is like this thick. Um, I thought Waterford was made in Ireland. I don't know. This one's not. <laughs> it says made in Germany. It says made in Germany. So we're going to go with it. That also came from that collection, so we've got part of the new box. Um, we have the original box for this one. This is a Waterford candelabra situation. It's gorgeous, Waterford crystal. Comes with the original box, and I believe this one is $24.95. Let me go back and double check. And it retails for like $50, $49.95, and I put it up The for candelabra? Yes. So I, I really tried to stick with half of what it retails for because I have so much to process that you know, and if I can sell it to you for half off and you can resell it or get a good deal either way, I'm happy about that. And sometimes you see stuff online and you're like, mm, how long has that been listed? That seems a little steep. Like, Oh, so Patricia says not all Waterford was made in Ireland. You always need to check the gold stamp. So that gold stamp says made in Germany. This one did not have a gold stamp. It's a newer piece. So I don't know. Yeah. So now you got know that. Um, uh, Ashley, we do have doubles. I don't have any here. Um, you, we can look, show you this one. We got that one like over there. That with the Brian bag. just linked that one. So, and Donna says Patricia is right. I actually should just call Donna and FaceTime with her while I go through all this stuff because she knows all the. This things. is this is her jam right now. What? The stuff. This is my jam. It's super excited. Um, that means it's newer if it's made anywhere other than Ireland. There you go. All right. We're gonna move on to some JRV fun stuff. We got new jewelry in. I've been waiting for these. Um, these are the Lola heart earrings and necklace. They are not vintage, they are not old, uh, but they are cute, so. That's the important part, that they're cute. Um, this shirt is on my website. I think it's $29.95 for this one, and it used to come up to plus size, but I'm not really sure what we have left. We've had it for a little bit. Mariah has the link, so she'll drop the link for this one. All right, hold on, let me see the Lola stuff because I didn't get pricing on these. Oh, you did. So the okay. earrings are $9.95 and then the necklace, and that's free shipping with these. Um, where's the necklace? Oh, she must have listed them separate. Because she's good like that. <laughs> All right, where's the other one? Oh, okay, maybe this is $9.95 too. I, Mariah hasn't said it. I'm going to take this one actually out. While she's waiting to try to find that, if you were waiting for a bike. Oh, they're back in stock. They're back in stock. We got some more. They sold out like the, oh, within a little bit of showing them last time around. They're handmade, very detailed. They move, they're, they're uh, 
Like even the pedals move, the wheels move, the handlebars move. So just really cool, very These are, detailed. Um, handmade, they're a little bit imperfect, every single heart and earrings, which is why I love them. Like you can even see the earrings, guys, are not even exactly the same. So every single one is unique on these Coco and Lola. And I always love it when I can support a handmade artisan. Did you tell them that the bikes were handmade? Yes. In New York? I didn't know New York. Yep, handmade in New York. Let me double check the listing, but I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. I know they're handmade in the US. Someone was saying they couldn't give the gnomes away. <laughs> they couldn't give the gnomes away? Well, you obviously weren't selling to the right people. I don't know if she was trying to sell them. She said she went to an auction or something. Oh, gotcha. I can't, the, you keep moving the comments. So I haven't read the whole thing. But the bikes are very cool. All metal, they got like a little bit of a uh, galvanized look to them, but I love them. Yeah, those are fun. Les, Waterford actually do use gold stickers. The newer ones that are made in Germany, um, because these are not like secondhand. These are bought, like they ordered them directly from Waterford. So it just depends. Um, All right, we have some fun bowls and mugs and plates. I think we showed these like back when, like last March or February or uh, April when we know, first but started. We've got more in, and these are part of the Park Hill collection. They, we have the bowls, the mugs, and the small plates, and we only, I think we have like two sets of each, and they're not making them anymore. Originally, I was going to use them here at the farmhouse. Then I found out they weren't making them and I was like, people get real cheesed when they don't have stuff they can buy. So I was like, I will sell these. I'll find some new stuff. Cape says the, the sheep are adorable. There's a pig one. And they all have the inside of the bowl like that with like the, the ribbon around the top. And it's different on all of them. Yep. This is the cow. So Donna was saying that Waterford's produced there. So actually, the uh, a lot of Waterford is Czech Republic. That's where that big cake plate that we sold came from. Yeah. Quick question: How many days would it take some of your paint to send to Texas? Actually, quick answer: I don't know. Um, we usually ship fast. within ten business days, um, and we have almost everything in stock. But if for some reason you order something that's not in stock, then we have to like we order every day, so we just have to wait till that comes in. But if you need it quick. Email customercare at jamierayvintage.com and Caitlin will make sure that it's in stock and ready to go. But most orders ship out in a couple of days and then take four or five days to be delivered. All right, so we've got pig plates and chicken plates to match with the bowls. And cow and sheep to match. Robin Sivis says cheesed, but I don't know. Did, it, did I say cheesed? Oh. I think so, because I said that people get cheese when they can't find it. Oh, that pig is cute. Yeah, pig mug. I'm actually kind of sad. Maybe That's nobody will buy these, and then I will keep them. Doubtful. will be like, you had your chance, listen. Doubtful. These are cool. Yeah, these are cute. I don't know why they didn't continue to make them. I feel like... You know, sometimes you just have to let stuff go. Les was told by her employer. Well, maybe that was before you retired, Les, which was a few years ago, if I'm correct. All right, Mariah just linked barnyard ceramic desert plates. Les, don't feel bad. Ain't nobody feeling bad about information. All right, <laughs> you know what we are happy about, Les? We're happy about these bags. So here's the story about the bags. Um, I went to get some cute Papillon bags, and we didn't have any because we sold all of them. So I ordered new ones. Yay! New bags! All right, so this is a new messenger style bag. I like the I like these because they're canvas. I'm gonna have to wait. I do not know on. the prices because they take these take forever to get in. So I I ordered them weeks ago. But there's a messenger bag. Open it up and show them the inside on that one. Where are the sheet bowls? Um, Mariah just dropped a link there. Barnyard ceramic um, bowls, mugs, and plates, and they come with a set. So it's not just sheet. You get one of each in the set. So you've got nice liner in here. Zipper, oh, zipper pocket, pocket up here in the top. It does have a tie string if you want to tie it. And Real quick they're little canvas bow. and leather. And then there's two pockets on this side to drop like a wallet or a phone or something in your purse. So you don't I'm lose it, it in the bottom. So, this is the, it says it's the pink tote, but this is brown. And it also, it's kind of pinkish. I think it looks pink myself. I'm like it's say... got a pink shade. Mostly brown. There's also a clip over here for your keys, I believe, or something. It's got the tag. I also don't think the picture it says they have be the change on the tag. All right, I'm going to add that pocket picture. on the outside. We don't have them stuffed because just before we did the video, 
I, uh, I pulled this out of the bag. All right, hold on. Can you smile real quick? I just need to take a picture of that because I don't like the, the picture that's there is not the correct coloring. Oops. Hold on. Okay, we'll just leave that off. I'm just going to get the bag. That's good. And your arm. <laughs> my man arm. Oh my gosh, I've got to get out the drill. <laughs> like these bar stools, like coming across, like coming undone. And I was complaining about you not getting it done, but the truth is I do know how to use a drill. It's true. All right. I got the correct color up there. We've also got from, from them this big belt with the gold buckle. It's leather. And it comes in this really cool bag. Les says she's very bad on bags. She also says she retired in the 90s. See, Les? It was just not, this isn't bad information. It was just retired information. I only know because I went on the internet. It's not like I walk around with Google. Oh, the belts are bomb. Yeah, these are nice. They're nice big leather buckle. belts. Big, thick buckle. Is and they're brass? all mediums because that's the size I wear. And I didn't want to buy like 800 belts. So I would say if you're about... This is gonna fit me and I'm like a six, eight. So if you're bigger than a six, eight, I would say these actually probably, if you use the last one, you can go from like four to like a six, eight on these. I'll try, if you like them, I'll get them in bigger sizes. I just, they're kind of spendy, so I don't wanna buy a million of them. They are pretty. I'm excited, uh, this 33 dollars for this belt. Oh, it's a backpack with a special zipper that goes against your back so that it's not hanging out for you know sneaky people to try to take your stuff out of your zipper so these are made like with a really high quality like almost like canvas rug so, sorry i've got a bar stool situation here <laughs> these also have a zipper and the compartment for like the phone or whatever it's just hard to show because it's it's dark it's I lined this bar stool has been bent. Yep, looks bent. Go get a new one. Thank you, children. Hold on. I'm going to go with one. One's put together because we did it on the video. One is put together because that's the one I screwed in. One maybe, and two are safe. Maybe I'll do this after one of the videos in 2029. Is less? I have an excuse. I'm so less. You're not that old. You're younger than my parents. So I'm super excited about this bag because... I bought it in black and white, and then I thought I was getting another black and white, but then we got this cool burgundy color. So you can get in this like color gold or in black the and white. It's like shiny. And they're $72.95. So anywhere that looks like it's leather is leather in all these bags. 2029. <laughs> 2029. Maybe I'll get them done in 2021 at some point. All right, another bag. This is a canvas tote. It's got this little charm on this one. It's got the grain sack stripe. These always sell really fast. I actually like the black with the burlap. The red green sack sold really fast, but me personally, I'm like a black bag person. The inside is so flipping cute. So it's got a zipper pocket, stripes, and then two pockets here. And I love the ticking stripe inside. Very French country. Uh -oh. Breaking stuff. All right, Lolly says $49.95 on this one. She must be looking at prices. <laughs> <laughs> She's pre-shopping. We have some inexpensive bags that are in the half-off section. So if you're looking to not spend $50 on a bag, it's chill. We got you. Go to the New Year sale collection. It comes off at checkout. We got some less expensive bags. See? Less is more. And don't they come in this fun Um, that case? depends on the bag. So that backpack comes in this case. Okay. Because when you get a bag in a bag, you know it's quality. That's right. how you know. Did we show them this one yet? These ones always sell out every day in time. They are made of heavy duty canvas and they've got the um, brown on the bottom, the snaps on the side, very, Zeb said this is masculine. That I makes, just thought it looked like a point. messenger bag. And she's like, what's with you in the bags? I'm like, it looks like a messenger He's bag. Like, I, I like, like messenger bags. <laughs> Would you carry this one for me when we're shopping? Um, I mean, just cause I like them doesn't mean I would carry one. Okay, I'm just checking. Just they have these like nice heavy duty zippers in them that I love. And then this has the ticking stripe inside of it. I mean, the French label and everything that looks like leather is leather on these. Inevitably, 60, I. 6 And oh, you get extra room. Too. Yeah, you can. It's like, hey, I need more room for shopping. Inevitably, um, there have been many instances where I end up carrying your bag, largely because it gets too full of stuff. So I actually ordered three of each of these because I want one of these and I want one of those. <laughs> so this one would not, this one would probably be like one of the least 
uh, girly bags you've ever had. You used to carry like. But can you skip with it? I feel yeah. like you can. You used to carry like. You... When we put them in the shop, if you guys resell bags, make sure you stuff them with paper. They don't look good when they're See, flat. look. It's almost as good now as a basket. Now it's going to sell out because you skipped in it. It's almost as good as a basket. Lolly says you only carry backpacks. Well, we have backpacks too. Almost. Almost as good as I actually backpack. have a little leather DKNY backpack that I think I'm gonna list for the thrift haul this weekend um, Because I've gone to bigger bags and I need to Did we show this one. Yes. I'm very excited So we are going Wait for it. We're going to antiques week. Oh, yes. Yes um, So we're super excited about that. Is that a thing? We're, yes, it's official. We're, we're official. I need to get the dates booked in New Mexico to stay at our friends Airbnb and then we're gonna pick up our friends who are sisters and we're going to go and we're going to wear masks and I'm going to put a hat on with sanitizer and stay six feet away and I'm going to be outside buying antiques and so I bought this because it's a weekender bag we had those weekender bags that were like 40 or 50 dollars this one is just under 100 if I remember correctly I think it's like 99.95 hold on wait for it um but oh, 104.95 this one is better made than obviously the half price one and I wanted one that would last a long time. We have a backpack in the same fabric. It's leather and it's got the, the like, what is this called? Rug type? Yeah, brocade. it looks like a, it looks like a carpet What's bag. That? Like a carpet bag, that's the one. Um, but very well made. So super excited. It's got the zipper inside and like all of their purses and bags seem to have that pouch for wallet and phone so you if don't you, lose it. If you were flying, I dare say you could call this a personal item and also do a carry on. Because it's big, but it's not like no, carry we'll go, on big. Would, it's just big enough. It, it's like it's like a good sized backpack. It'd probably go under the seat just fine. Yeah. And the gal that makes these bags, we actually had one person say that they had a problem with their bag, and she the owner was amazing. Um, and actually the damage looked like it could have been an animal because there were teeth marks, but she still was like, My bags are awesome, I stand behind them. We were able to get a refund on them, but they're just really high quality, well made, and the owner takes pride in the way her bags are. It's hard are made. to see, but there's a little butterfly stamped in this leather. Deb says you both need that well deserved vacay. Well, it's kind of a work K, but I'm going to be excited. It's one of those ones. That's my round top bag, and I'm going to take that bag with me while I'm shopping because then I can put stuff in it, and then we're going to get you one of those French backpacks, and you're going to skip around round top. We do workcations. I don't know that in the last six years we've been on a vacation that wasn't like Ooh. some way work related, the which is fine is because when I get sitting around for too long, I don't relax. Like yeah, I don't go work. to the beach and chill. Like if I'm at the beach, I'm building a sandcastle. I'm out swimming. I'm trying to like body surf. Like I'm doing stuff. I'm looking for shells for the kids. Uh, no. Jamie's over there like Sleepy. soaking up the sun, got a blanket or a towel. I'll see her in a couple hours. I'm doing stuff. <laughs> oh, I was going to order new bathing suits. I don't think they're going to come in time. Not that I'm going to be uh, swimming in round top. Um, but the color caboose says she has a new old stock cast iron farm sink she'd love to give me while I'm in town. Would you please email <laughs> details to info at jamierayvintagehome.com and I will try, if at all possible, to make a meet because that basically is my love language. Our plan is to go down there. Purchase a trailer and fill it up. Or rent a trailer. I don't know. I'm more into purchasing. You know I'll what? sell it when have, I get back here. We if can we have don't Sarah's need husband it. pick it up for us. We'll send him money. Because he would probably love to buy a trailer. Because that he like when he's not golfing. Oh, okay. And then we could send him money, he could buy a trailer, and then we'll just pick it up because her she's only two hours from Round Top. Tell him about this. Oh, it looks, this is very exciting. Is it sticky? No, lip gloss? I don't buy sticky lip gloss. Because some, you know, sometimes the, the lip gloss is sticky, and I'm like, yeah, you can keep some of those kisses till that wears off a little bit. Because I don't like to feel like I got like sugar on my cheek or whatever. Oh, here it comes. Well, you have lipstick because it's MAC. <laughs> but not much comes off because it's I, MAC. I, I heard I get in trouble if I rub it off. Like, what is that? Like, is that a thing? No, you're rubbing it in, you're not rubbing it off. So oh, okay. this is the same lip gloss we had where we did like those five packs, except for this one is coconut oil and it's kind of amazing. It's like, you know, we can't have a vacation because of the situation, but we can have 295 lip gloss. So <laughs> <laughs> that includes free ship or no flat rate shipping. Sorry. So if you order any of the flat, no, it's not colored. It's totally clear. I'll put yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's very clear. Like you can almost see through the- And I know Donna doesn't wear lipstick, so. Totally moisturizing, has coconut oil, not sticky. See? 
In case you were wondering or concerned, check this out. You can can get some, try it on? You can He's get some tone. No, I don't do lip gloss. It's shiny. Not right now. If it was chapstick, he would. What does it smell like? Does it, does it smell good? Oh, that's strong. Yeah. That's a good smell. Yeah, it's a good, like, it's not like gross strong, but it's like strong enough that you put it on, you will know you have coconut. Got it. I found uh, the stuff spot. Stuff at Brown Top can be expensive, but also so can Paris flea markets. I still found deals. I'm a shopper. You know what? You get the stuff that's like hanging out in the way back. You like poke through booths and things. You walk through them. You look, and then you're like, "What's that back behind your chair? What do you got in your trailer over there that I see?" I'm the queen <laughs> of the bundle deal, right? I want to be like uh, Rachel Ashwell from. Um, what she does the shabby chic lady she just goes with her people and she just points and then somebody huh. walks up and they arrange the deal <laughs> do and I then, need to get then like... a big burly dude comes up and carries it away do i need and to get like points. one of those rolling wagons <laughs> um no i don't i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that all right so we've got these jugs we have more than one yes 1995. they're perfect for putting your flowers or your cotton yeah. stems in they look amazing. We had several of these with flowers and cotton stems up above our kitchen sink. Yeah, we sold those for like at the other bucks. house for ages. Yeah, and these are gonna be 19.95 sans flowers. So. Sans flowers. All right. Also, you could get some good base out of them. All right, let's talk about joggers, okay? So we've got these joggers are the houndstooth joggers. They go from small to XXL. Also, I'm not going to show you the camper joggers, but I'm just going to tell you there's only one small and one medium left of those. These are the houndstooth? Yes, these are the houndstooth. I always get confused. I'm like, why is that called houndstooth? Like, I'm just That's, curious. They've been calling, it's a very old If you textile. know the history on it, let me know why says, it's called this. that. Comment below, why is this pattern? Sarah Lee says, I went to Paris Flea Market and there were things in the 12th century that were millions. Sara Lee, the best thing I bought, well, it wasn't, it was at a yard sale in France, was I, for two euros, I bought a 16th century wine craft and I sold it for $225. That was very exciting. That was exciting. It was uh, good. Now, these it are made it, plus it made it, size. all the picking worth it. We have the tie-dye joggers and then we have the blue and white tie-dye. They look very similar, but the blue and white has white. The other ones are just blue tie-dye. So... Pay attention when you're ordering them. Plus size. I can't remember who it was, but somebody's been begging me forever. One to has them. one has a green tie. The other one has a black tie That's or navy blue, blue, navy blue. I've been people have been begging me forever to get these back in plus size, so I did in two. Odelia, you cannot try those on because they're only plus size. <laughs> Is Odelia even home? Where's she at? I don't know. I she said seen... she went to Round Top with Grandma and Granddad. We did. I bought some things. But it wasn't like during the actual yeah. event. It was just like she went we to went the to town. We went to Jump Gypsy and then we bought, went to one antique store in town and I bought some stuff. That was when you got one of your big dough bowls. It's because, Lolly says, it's the shape of dog's tooth, which is what it used to be called. But now it's hound's tooth. Oh, okay. Because dog's tooth just isn't as fancy. All right, so all the joggers are $19.95 with free shipping. We have these black ones in plus size. Just a plain like a black. Solid. I wish we had these non-plus size because I really want these ones. I love just a good plain black Well, and So these aren't tight. These don't like super hug you. They're no. they're like loose fitting and Who wants tight ultra pants comfy. To they're so them. soft. Like I can't even describe it. All right. It's like it's like holding on to like a brand new three day old kitten. Okay, so these are all regular size. So these are the black and white striped joggers. They're more like squares. They're like a neutral pattern. And then we have these ones are the black and white plaid jogger. And it's got like a little bit of hound's tooth in the plaid if you look close. Oh, that's very fancy. similar. Fancy. But different. Oh, then we have more black and white. These ones I'm gonna be keeping. I'm gonna take them out of stock. These are polka dot. I happened to grab all the ones that were plus size. I grabbed them in medium. So if they weren't sold by the end of the thing, I could pull them out of stock and put them in my closet. I like these. Yes, those are like arabesque Moroccan joggers. Um, these are called retro, but I would have called them arabesque because they're definitely the arabesque Moroccan pattern. And these are Let only, me bring them close these only so go up to an see. XL, which is the same size as 1X. So if you wear 1X, you can wear an XL in the regular sizes. Donna ordered those yesterday. Who she told me to those. buy the trailer? Did you order these and the campers? Uh, the Brimfield. Buy that trailer and Zeb can come to Brimfield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. We can only be gone so long. <laughs> it's not a secret. I have ADD. Like just a two day trip to get to Round Top is really pushing it for me. But I also don't like airplanes. And with the current situation, Jamie ain't getting in no airplane. So butterfly ones, these are a restock. One of the colors is super close to Apothecary and Old 57 and Cowgirl Coral. So these are super cute. Look these there, are, those are- These are dream catchers. Those are dream catchers. So cute. Can you show how stretchy they are? Okay, yeah. So these are stretchy and soft, almost like a certain brand of leggings that I need not mention. Um, and they're made to be loose. So I wear like a six, eight in jeans and I wear a medium. They have pockets. These are really popular. We've been sold out for a long time. I just finally had the time to order more. And they have a cuff, but it's not an elastic cuff. So super comfy. I like to call these lounge chic. You can wear them to the grocery store, but you can also nap in them. Okay, more kitties. So we got kitties and then we got only. bigger kitty. <laughs> And those are regular size. We have not had this print in the regular size, only the plus before, and I'm super excited because that's my favorite leopard print. And then the kitty in you the You could plus wear it size. with your leopard shirts. You could go full leopard. Yeah, is that, full leopard. So is that allowed to go full leopard print? Or do you wear like a solid color on top or bottom and do either or? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I have to get a picture of Jamie in full leopard print. Maybe we could get her to skip full, and put it in a video. Full leopard, like full metal jacket, full <laughs> leopard print. <laughs> I don't even know a full met. Is that a fan? No, that's a type of ammunition round. Oh, I was close. It's and part of the Geneva Accord or whatever, whatever it is. <laughs> it's probably controversial. I didn't say it. I'm just going to drink my water. These are back in stock. Water bottles are out of stock. Um, and I order more, so I will get more of those. Make sure you guys are hitting up jrvhome.com. And we have a ton of stuff. So if you want clothes, you go to JRV Closet. If you want the sale, oh yeah. Almost forgot to show these. These are one of a kind and we made them. They're Look how good they up. turned out cured. They're like all cured and hard. The and this one's one. cool because it's gold on the inside and gold on the outside. Did yeah. you do that on purpose? Yes, that's the golden ticket one. It's got kind of like a brassy look. So I looked up like quintessential French country design is supposed to be antique gold, which this totally is. Um, and these are $22.95 for these ones. And with, I'll show you what they look like with, this is the one I kept This for is myself. the finished. If you guys haven't seen the video, we did this yesterday Number for 10 cams. Waste Not Wednesday. Lots Pretty of simple. steps. Um, and we use salt wash and paint and patina and molds. And honestly, you spend a hundred bucks buying the products if you didn't have them already. So I thought $22.95 each was a really good deal for what so, used to be number 10 cans. So on these, but we didn't use very much product. Like no, they didn't I mean, take very much at all. You could do, you could do a bunch of them. You could probably product. do like 15 of these with uh, with like a pint of DIY paint. So there's much controversy on this. Before we go, I'll say it. I cannot, I cannot You say, say it like a Q, like Q, I I don't know. I tried to listen to Google Translate and it didn't do it for me. But some people say it says bake, some people say it says cook. When I looked it up on Google, it said it was translated for book, but I think, or not book, bake. But I think it just depends on where you're at in France. Um, anyways, oh, my headband, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's show these headbands. Oh, I put them over to the side and forgot to show them. Um, this one, is, so if you have a giant black. noggin, they are not super big. I'm just gonna disclaim that. I have an average noggin. I usually get headaches, but I actually, this one's super soft and I've had it on for hours. It hasn't bothered me. Um, let me double check that. So these- They come in these floral prints in purple, gray. So this is just under the headband mask link. I'd say that's like a- But uh, these are not masks. So what I color would you why. call that? Would you say pink on that? I don't know that did, hold on. Mariah, I think you may have linked the wrong one because these are not um, masks. Oh, it is a movie, Deb. Yeah, they do have a movie. Oh, hold on, let me look up the new product. Sorry, guys. But it's the name of a uh, bullet round. So, so uh, they used to use in a lot of militaries a uh, lead round that would mushroom out and cause all kinds of catastrophic damage. And you know, somehow in like war, they decided that that was inhumane. So they started wrapping the the round with a full metal jacket 
so that it goes through the target and doesn't mushroom and stay inside causing infection and other things if you're able to actually live Nobody if you get to shot. Nobody about that while we're talking about headbands. Well, they're talking about it, it's a movie. I'm yes, like, that is, not, that is not where it comes from. It's not <laughs> the from the horrible. movie. I had to leave the room. Yeah, it's not a movie I would watch. Anyways, let's talk about <laughs> these headbands. So they look kind of like old vintage wallpaper and they're velvet. Mm -hmm. um, very Bordeaux looking. And they come in like five different colors. Shelly, I saw it. I will look for more floral joggers and plus size. Um, and they come in a bunch of different colors. I'm wearing the black one, which happens to be my favorite. But I like them because they're kind of subdued. So they're $6.95 and they're free shipping. So get yourself one. They're cute. Cure, cure, with, cure a raspy with a raspy R sound. I know. That's why I was cure. I, was, I, like, I tried, but I, I, I'm not good at it. All right. Is that everything? I think that's everything. JRVHome.com. French is a beautiful language, and I just should not speak it. All right. Love <laughs> you guys. Thanks for joining us. JRVHome.com for what you saw here today. Make sure you're hitting up the New Year's sale. It's going to be on sale till it's gone, so buy it away. So, and so we have gnomes, right? We have collectibles, but we have so many more that aren't gnomes. Yeah. Gnomes is what we started with, but we have Hummel coming. Mm -hmm. We have um, a bunch of collectible lighthouses coming. We have more of the Lowell Davis coming, um, and everything is going to be marked off at like half of retail. So definitely don't miss it out. Love you guys, and thanks for joining us. All right. We're going to wrestling. Got to go to wrestling. We'll catch you guys be later. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Raven Ravendage for more. DIY. Oh, and Calico Kittens. Oh, Calico Kittens are coming.